Timber Valley Homestead. Timber Valley Homestead features Kale as she mainly shares her life as a new beekeeper. And so we're painting the boxes. Oh. Okay, so my uh, handy dandy helper has passed out. I'm using the black ones. I much prefer them. There are a few other videos thrown in about their organic approach to life, but the premier focus of Timber Valley Homestead is bees, bees, bees. The fact that, you know, there was some left over and I didn't want the bugs to get to it. This is the purple one. And this is the one that's doing the She covers thing. common apiary knowledge. And Timber Valley Homestead shares day-to-day -day maintenance and upkeep of their hives. Some people or bees have all the fun. Possibly that one I can't remember. Is she sure that sugar? sugar? I'm not convinced. <laughs> nope. <laughs> Look at how they're all over that stuff. That is not sugar. Freaks me out. Um, mm hmm. <laughs> so, um, so, if you're a Homestead fan and you're an even bigger bee fan, Timber Valley Homestead could be your next connection. Check it out. Hillbilly Moonwatch. If you were wondering what happened to Cindy Lou Who, well, hey everybody. she's still here. Just her channel name is more accurately reflecting the content. Yes, she gets as close to the moon as she can without tasting cheese. There are also some UFO clips and other random throw-ins. She even dabbles in scale modeling. And of course, she's still oh, yes, doing those awesome yeah, Sky Watchers live streams. I, I can I can see that. Holy! To, it is very easy to. Um, I'm trying to think of what word I want to say with y'all winter. She still oh, puts God, in awesome. some Homestead Shorts videos here and there, but the moon close-ups are the feature ingredient. So if you want to join this Tennessee Sky Watchers live streams to chat with other homesteaders or believers in what's out there, or you just love exploring the moon but you're not Wally, -E, then check out Hillbilly Moon Watch. You might discover something new. The Kamakura Gardener. Robert has been living in Japan over 40 years now. And when he's not doing something journalism, is he? <laughs> Boy, I just messed that word all up. How about journalism-y? Yeah, journalism -y. That's the word I'm looking for. I just made it up, I think, but it's still a word. So I'm going to freeze some, and I'm going to roast some of it as well. So when he's not working at work... <laughs> <laughs> One of his hobbies no. is working his vegetable garden. Yeah, so the okra is still producing. Not a whole lot, <laughs> but it's good enough for one. Harvest them probably next month. And it looks like we have some more coming up here. Very good, very good. Okay, let's check on the strawberries. Well, the strawberries are not looking as lush as they did back in the spring, but uh, they're trying. And as you can see, our pineapple is doing very well. I think we have a... Uh, an eggplant Robert is not here. just the Kamakura gardener, he's also the Kamakura canner, but that's too much of a tongue twister for you too. <laughs> there are a lot of videos also that include his companion, Spunky, who is now waiting on the other side. Spunky crossed over All a couple the animals months who ago. Have been ill and old are restored to health and vigor. Those who were hurt or maimed are made whole and strong again just as we remember them in our dreams of days and times gone by. See that? On the Kamakura Gardener, my, uh, the layout of the garden is here. pretty it has unique. This concave shape. And, uh, Very yeah, cool, it's Robert. But I was reflecting Let's on not how forget the walks. I remember back when I was, say, a teenager or 20 years old. What would it be like to 
to turn 60. So if you are so into I, I balcony, eating, terrace, and tight space living. gardening, or you love great scenic walks, or you're all about those garden harvests, the Kamakura Gardener is your next dose of culture. Check him out. Be having and be having on the homestead. Getting all up in there with the moon and the sky watchers. Terrace gardening and prepping in Japan. Are these your people?